So in this video, I want to talk about the use of indicators. Now, it's been quite a joke with a lot of people uh, about uh, the use of indicators. So let's explore this a bit more. But um, if you like the video, then please consider giving me a like at the end. And um, if you want to learn more advanced driving techniques, tips and tricks to keep you safe and have fun on the roads, then please consider subscribing to the channel. So it's always been a standing joke that, um, that BMW drivers don't have indicators. Um, and in recent years, I've noticed that that's migrated now more towards like Audis. Uh, it used to be like Mercedes and BMW used to be the premier makes, but now Audi seems to have sort of got into that as well. Um, but, you know, every car has got indicators. And as advanced drivers, what we encourage is that people use the indicators meaningfully. And by that, I mean, you don't use indicators by habit. In other words, you don't indicate when there is no one around because it's pointless. But when the indicator would benefit another road user, and by another road user, I include in that um, horses or horse riders, obviously, um, cyclists, pedestrians, anyone that could react to that signal, then we encourage you to make that signal. Um, but on the other hand, what does a signal actually mean? Well, to me, because the majority of uh, drivers um, are obviously not advanced drivers, um, it means that that person could have used that indicator um, in not the right way. It could be giving uh, misleading information and therefore am I going to trust that indicator? Well personally my view is that as an advanced driver an, an indicator only tells me that a bulb is actually working. Nothing more than that. Um, what I look at um, when I'm looking at the position of vehicles and judging what someone is going to do on the road, I actually look at the position of the wheels because the vehicle has to go where the wheels are actually pointing. So apart from the, the obvious possibility of uh, very, very sudden late manoeuvres, generally you can get a good idea of what a vehicle is doing, whether they're going to turn into a junction, whether they're going to pull over, what their actually in, intent is by looking at the wheels of the vehicle. So I hope that's helped. Um, like I say, I would always encourage you to use an indicator where it is going to be of benefit to anyone that can see it. Um, but don't actually take an indicator as a golden rule and always look at where that vehicle is positioned its wheels uh, because that is probably going to give you a better indication of the path of that vehicle. So I hope that little tip has uh, helped. Like I say, um, if it has, please give the video a like. And um, to see more, get notified when I publish more of these little tips, then uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. And hopefully I'll see you in future videos. Bye for now.